that is kind of a problem though. A lot of the stuff in the bottom of the weld, you do have to have the boomerang to get it. A lot of the skeletalas, I mean. But there are chests in there too. And we have more than enough resources to do what we gotta do with those. Okay, so the bridge is up because cutscene time. Just gonna swim around to watch it. Does holding B really make you swim faster? Because it doesn't seem like it does. I don't know. I can definitely tell the sound is happening more frequently, like the whoop, whoop, whoop. But it doesn't seem like you move faster. I don't know. Gosh, it sure is cloudy out there. How often do you get to see this? As a kid. The bridge intact and cloudy weather. You know, you don't see that very often. Anyway. What do we got? Oh, I guess we have to go get the ocarina. Well, it looks like an ocarina, but is it really? Well, let's find out. Oh my god, Zelda! I thought you were supposed to help me out here. Oh wait, oh, we get a song too, though. Yes, or another thing. Okay, okay, there we go. That's the boomerang! I'm happy, but also slightly disappointed, but no, uh... I kind of wanted to have to work for it more than that. But to be fair, that doesn't get us any closer to the end of the... Well, it does, though. What do you mean it doesn't get you closer to the end of the game? Of course it does. Boy, it's going to be a mad hunt to find that boss key. And you know what? I'm going to show every minute of it. I mean, I'm not, but like every chest that I check, I will show. Because what's the point if you don't show every chest, really? Doo doo, ba dum, down down, banana. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da I guess I could take that broken sword up to the big garage on the top of the mountain. Oh, it's doing it again. Because then he asks you to fix his eyes, but he's not necessarily going to give you the prescription or whatever, you know. It's... Let's do it. I think I might actually save and quit after this, I don't know. It depends on how... I don't know, I should record more though. That's so cool. Let's just listen to this for a minute. That is so funny, I can't believe that. Oh my gosh. But what that means is that they actually applied the effects to the song to speed it up. They didn't just, like, pre-record a sped-up version of Song of Storms that gradually speeds up, you know, and just play that in that cutscene, which might have been, you know, the more time-saving or less... Well, I don't know which one would be harder to do. I'm not a programmer, you know, but... <laughs> it just seems like it would have been easier to just pre-record a version of the Song of Storms that speeds up rather than... Oh, man. But no, they, they made it so it could happen to any song, which that's cool. Alright, why don't you just turn your butt around so we can be on our merry way here. Thank you. Alright, alright, where do we start here? Start at the beginning. Yes, and when you come to the end, stop. I know, I've made that reference way too many times. I don't know how beans ended up on my C right stick. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, first chest right here, which I never knew about. <laughs> Crazy to think. It's an arrow, okay. You can have that pro Jared. Even though I know you're not watching this. I mean, he might be, but <laughs> the odds of that are pretty low, I think. Uh, so let's get this one in here. Wait, it's, 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 it's right here. Well, I mean, we could equip the 
lens of truth and find out for real. Oh, okay, this just goes to this one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's tons of stuff to get in here. And you get it pretty fast, too. Which really helps. I don't care about you hitting me. I have double defense. I don't give a rat's ass. Go suck a bloint. I couldn't decide whether to say blunt or joint. So I said bloint. I'm just gonna blow this guy up and me. Yeah. Kamikaze, bitch! The hearts you drop give me back my health. You know, with every battle, I grow stronger. Like, duh, of course you do, Ulberic. And there's another Pond of Happiness there for us. I... Pond of Happiness, yeah. I have definitely called some things by the wrong name in my heyday. But that beats all right there. Alright, so, by the look of it, we have all three keys here. Oh, you wanna hit me again, Ike? Put some stank on it? Crap. Well, I had to come down here eventually anyway, so I guess... Uh... Oh, also, I have the sword! Hello, we have the sword! What are you doing? I'm so used to not having it. <laughs> Once again, it's like you're so used to not having it, you know... I don't know, man. It's like, you, got, you gotta keep up with this thing, you know? It's, uh, it's kind of... I mean, how cool would it be if we got double magic down here, though? This would be the kind of place where you would think it would show up, too. Wouldn't it? Or wouldn't you? Well, let's grab this chest here. That's a bloopy. Yeah, I mean, was, I'm not surprised we're seeing as many of those lately as we have. It is a little surprising that they've all just started showing up now. You know, in this, like... Because, like, when we first started out, we didn't see any of them, hardly. I think we saw, like, one in the first 50 we checked. Get out of your hands, I don't know, you're grabbing my ass. I'm gonna get out of here as fast as I can. So where are you, my man? Oh, we're back here at the beginning. Okay. Then in that case, let's just do the beginning stuff. Like this chest right here. There's also one on the west side we can check as well. Yep. Them frogs, though, I tell ya. Oh man, there's one of the worst rooms in the entire game coming up here. This one with the coffins, I don't know why, man. That's, ugh. I hate it. Oh, that's not this room, though. This is the hand room. Alright, grab me. Grab me and stink me. Oh, hi, magic jar. You are really up close to this room. Man, could not have been in a more perfect position to grab that chest and could not have been less of a valuable thing in it. Well, let's grab this one while we're here, too. That's a recovery heart. Yep. Bet you thought I was gonna miss that one, huh? No siree. There's still a few more. Well, we haven't done any of the locked doors yet, so we should get on that. That's why this place is like, for as compact as of a dungeon as this is, there's so much to get here. I think I'd rather go ahead and do the... Uh, do the locked doors and this chest over here as well. Come here, you. Yeah, that's right. There's arrows. I mean, hell, what are we even looking for at this point? Double magic? I don't know, neighbor's love? There's so many possibilities still. Ice arrows? <laughs> well, this path is easy enough, it just goes along the outside of the room, so we're not even gonna drag out our lens of truth anymore. And now we have the boomerang, so there's lots of skulls for us to check in previous dungeons. There's a- man, there's gonna be so much to do. Holy crap. If you want to bring fire back, bring fire. Sure thing. Yeah, we might as well just stop even looking at the screen anymore. There's nothing else that we're waiting for that's going to be immediately helpful to us, aside from double magic, which we'll know it when we get that. Oops. Oh, I thought my... I thought the Lens of Truth was on that button. My 
my dad. Okay, and uh, well, I don't care about anything else in this room except for that. Nice! Loop! And that's another Skulltula token, actually, so... <laughs> I think we're at right around 65 now for those. Holy crap. Oh, actually, let's go out the left side. So we can grab whatever's over here. A few more things over here. Including this one. Yeah, this is what I love about this, though. You're opening chests every 15... Oh! Small key for GTG! That's always good. I mean, at this point, like, why why even write him down? It's like, you'll go there when you go there. And you'll do what you do, what you do, what you do. <laughs> that was like the most pathetic sounding I've ever done. Where they just both have to come in and get their own hit, you know? First, Sherry has to come from one side and get her hit. And then Cindy has to come from the other side and get her hit, you know? Both get their hits off the bomb, you know? Man, they're floating with- <laughs> That's so funny. It looks so stupid. It's like when someone's driving a car. If you couldn't see the car, and all you could see was their body, you'd see this person in a semi-sitting position, floating in the air, moving really fast, and it would just look so stupid. God damn, it would look stupid. Alright, just give me that key. Or whatever the key happens to be. Another Skulltula token. Fudge Slickles. Fudge Slickles. Man, I could really go for some Doritos right now. Anybody else just love Doritos? I mean, I guess everybody does. They're, they're an emote on Twitch, so... I can't be the only one. I just freaking love Doritos, man. So fucking good. They taste good on my tongue, you know? I like the feeling of that salty cheese just melting into my tongue. I should just I should be an ad for Doritos. I should I should have Doritos sponsor me. Do no <laughs> Oh, I think maybe I should like save and quit. It'd probably be quicker. Oh hang on, there's like whoa. There's a lot more chests in here than... There was this one, for one thing. Boy, I was sitting here saying I was almost done. Dude, you ain't even close! You ain't even close. Alright, so let's... Oh, I guess I didn't see those on the compass when it was pointing the... That must have been on a different level, so it wasn't showing them. I don't know what that one is on the left. I thought I got everything over there. I'm kind of anxious to go find out now, because there might be a chest I never knew about. Yeah, didn't I get that one? Oh, that's so weird. Because, I like, right when I first came in, I looked at the wall with the lens of truth. And I had always, ever since I was a kid, always thought that there was something else there, though. Just like there's a key inside of the first wall on the right. There's, like, a little cubby hole in there. Why is it called a cubby hole, I wonder? There's another one! Oh no, my shield! My shield, fuck! My shield, fuck! Oh my god, I almost fell again. Well, hopefully the knockback is not as bad as it was in Mega Man 11. <laughs> hey, wait, where's the... Is this the door I just came... Oh my god, no, no, thank you. I'm just gonna keep hitting you like a chimpanzee. Ow! No, 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 no. Please die. Thank you. There was like three things we could get in here. There was a chest in the last room. A chest in this room, too. I'm telling you, this place is loaded down, man. So, let's see what we got. Oh, why am I using the D-pad all of a sudden? I have no idea. Keaton mask free to borrow. That was new text. I don't recall seeing that. Oh, there's another token. Let me just check, though, and see. Oh, we got ice arrows. That was ice arrows. Sure enough. I knew I recognized that text as being unique. Because, like, okay, I, it's so hard to describe this. When you first come in, you can go left or right. 
like this. I'm on the right now, and I'm heading back towards the beginning. You go to the right, and you turn around this corner, and first thing, there's a room right here with a chest in it. Okay. Now, as a kid, I remember the same being true on the left side. You go to the left, you turn in, and there's just a room right there with a chest. But slowly, as I played this game, I've discovered that that's not true. There isn't a room there. There is this, which goes to this chest from the side, which is how you're supposed to get it, because the hole prevents you from getting it the way you think you would normally have to get it. But then that begs the question, what is this chest? Is it just like sitting out in the open? And... Oh, it's right there! So it is true! Oh my god, they... I know I probably sound like a total moron to people right now, but this is kind of blowing my mind a little bit. I knew I wasn't wrong. There was a second chest that you just walked in and got through the wall in the center, or like towards the center, from the outside. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Man, oh man, okay, so, well that cleans it out right there. That cleans out bottom of the well. We got ice arrows. That's about the most... Can you move? Yeah, oh, this controller, man. I gotta stop talking about this controller, you know. Like, if it really bothers you so much, get a new one. Stop talking about it. Why am I so stupid? It sound like Waluigi. Man, God only knows what I can do now that I have the boomerang. I think my first stop is gonna be Jabu Jabu, but... There's no quick way to get there. No quick warpy way to get there, so... Oh, we have the Song of Storms too, so uh, why don't we run over here and grab this? Here, let me get the boomerang on. I, I have the Song of Storms, right? So I was thinking to myself, what? This is not a Song of Storms hole? Wait a minute, or is this adult only? So the thought crossed my mind that like I have the Song of Storms, I was thinking that as I walked up to get this one. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, if I have the Song of Storms, why didn't I get the one over by where Talon's sleeping at the beginning, inside Hyrule Castle? And I was like, holy shit, because I remember heading there, and that's what was confusing me, and then I remembered, oh, I didn't have the Song of Storms when I was heading there. Or I didn't have the boomerang, I mean, and that's why I turned around. So that's what got me all messed up here. Uh, hello? Hello. Did I get this one already? I, I did not. I did not get this one. I mean, I don't even hear the sound of one, so... Unless that's like an adult-only one. I could have sworn that was a Skultula. Uh, <laughs> Well, you got me on that one. I don't know what's happening there. Ooh, you know what? Hang on a second here. This one we can grab on the way here. Let us not forget this. We'll have to come back and do this again when we get the Song of Time, too. Uh, sure, sure, whatever. Ooh, they love that one, don't they? Who doesn't love the Song of Storms, though? And so we get ourselves another Skultula token. I'm not even gonna bother looking at that. You can see it a hundred times every time I open my subscreen. But for some reason, I'm thinking the number 68. Now I'm curious. I want to see if I'm right. Uh, 69. Of course I'm wrong. The one time when it's actually that number. You know. Man, I probably, it probably would have been faster to actually warp to Lake Hylia and just swim under the thing. But then I couldn't have gotten the Song of Storms frog pickup on the way. And of course it turned out to be nothing, but how can you know that really? I guess that's the thing with Skull Sanity, that's the risk you're taking. So you're gonna have a lot of worthless pickups. But then I suppose there's a lot of worthless pickups in a normal rando too. Bloopies galore, bloopies everywhere you go. Bloopies for days, bloopies for nights. Bloopies in summer, bloopies in winter. Bloopies when you sleep, bloopies when you're awake. Bloopies when you mow the lawn, and bloopies when you rake. Bloopies when you make a cake. 
or when you make love. You could feel it when you do your taxes, when you go to church. The feeling that the world around you is not real. You know, there's a theory going around that, like, this world that we live in is a simulation. I really hope that's true. You know, and it doesn't take anything away from my experiences. I don't feel, as a human being, that it takes anything away. Because my experiences only have value insofar as I can perceive that they have value in the first place, right? So, and as long as I can perceive that, that's all I need. It doesn't have to be objectively true that they have value, as long as I believe myself, you know? Of course, then, that's what the whole thing is about, isn't it? I don't know, we're not gonna get on this. So, I skipped this chest last time I was here. Oh, wait. Well, there is one in here that you don't need the boomerang to get, right? Because you have to have the boomerang to kill these things. And we also know the pickups in here will be good. This is one of the worst dungeons for a regular randomizer. Uh, Alright, let's see what the boomerang chest has got for us. Well, hello, and who might you be? I'm a shirt, and I talk. What? Did I just hear something? Oh, that was Talon. Oh my god, I think it was anyway, because it was his dialogue. So then I was waiting for him to go, ah! again, but he didn't. Alright, almost done here. Yeah, this room takes a while. There's just no quick way to kill those guys, really. I, mean, I guess a sword is probably quicker, but... Oh well. Slingshot's more fun! There's another one. Oh dear god in heaven, there's another one. Oh man, don't be swinging your dick when I'm trying to eat your jellyfish. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this, this comes from sometimes, y'all. Oh, you were just about to swing and I cut it off. Like Braveheart. Right back to that again. Now we get out of here. Now we make the jump, the nasty plunge, we take it. It is so stupid when, like, in The Nutty Professor, when he's like, Now we take nasty plunge! Like, there was no reason for him to say that, honestly. I don't know. Like, you aren't even taking the plunge, you're just coming to terms with yourself. Which I guess is sort of equatable to taking the plunge, I don't know. But not the nasty plunge! Like, can you be serious about anything, you know? I don't know. I mean, well, it's, that's a question you would ask me, not him. You know. Anyway, two more tokens here. Let's see what we got. Now that we're all back together, building a bridge over the valley was a piece of cake. And over here we have... Another token. Okay, so, but the first one sounded strange. Oh, there you go. It's our final song right there. Song time. Yo. So I guess now we can go back to the water temple and get the rest of the pickups there, even though we don't really want to. But we're still lacking a key, though, there, so... So, like, there's really no reason to make a trip back there now until we get that last key. But chances are we're not going to have to go back there at all, so... I just wouldn't even worry about it. But I'm only 400 years old! Holy Pono, she's grown fond of you, fairy boy. I like this one shot of Ruto here, right when the platform goes up. Watch this. That pose she makes there, it's just so good. Like, it's so convincing, like, that's what a kid would do, you know? Or a fish. I mean, not that I would know what a fish would do in that circumstance, but... A little closer! A little closer! <laughs> Remind me to drop a line to Ralph Nader! I've already talked about that, I know I have, because I remember saying... Like, who knows who Ralph Nader is? A kid wouldn't. But then they gotta have some adults who were sprinkled in there, too. You know, because otherwise, why would adults want to go see the movie? You know what's cool is, like, in T2, at the beginning, when the T-1000 first gets there, and he, like, 
throws Arnold Schwarzenegger out of a window. And then he, like, turns his head towards this mannequin that looks like it's made of metal. And it's like a little bit of foreshadowing, you know, for what he's, his ability. Because you don't know what his ability is at that point, so... But it's just so cool, it's like one of those things. And apologies to anyone who subscribes to movie details on Reddit, because somebody points that out, like, once a month over there. Thinking they're the first ones to notice it, so... <laughs> oh well. Alright, well here's Mr. Number 4. I'm gonna check the map when I'm done with this, because I'm not sure... Like, unless I picked up a fifth one and just didn't realize it... Pretty sure that's all of them. That is all of them here. Okay, cool. Or, wait, can we, like, there we go. What? Isn't that a wall there? You just flew right through it and electrocuted me. There you are. Alright, time to slice you up. Slice and dice. Ow. Oh, there we go. Jeez. There it is. Now see what we can do here is actually use Daker Nuts to take these out. I never knew you could do this, but... That's one thing you can do. We actually took them all out with two Daker Nuts. That's unreal. Oh yeah, I was right there in front of you to start slicing and dicing. Alright, give in, baby. Give in to me. In the words of Michael Jackson. <clears throat> Maybe a little coke explosion there, your mellow yellow explosion. It's kind of cool that mellow yellow is still around. Because I remember that from when I was a kid. This stuff has always been... Well, there was even like a song about it, you know, it's like, be called mellow yellow. But I don't know if that song was about the soda. Or if they actually say, that's right, sniff, after that. I swear in that song I hear somebody saying that's right sniff after the call it mellow yellow part. Oh man, I never turned off my ceiling fan. It's been going all this time. Man! Man, well, at least we got that dungeon done. So I guess the question then is Ooh, you know what? We can get that other skeleton while we're here. Uh you don't kill skeletal with take your nuts, but it'd be pretty cool if you could. Alright, let's stop in the middle of that glorious explosion here. And let's grab! Alright, I want to buy a fish, but they're too expensive. Okay, so, um, how, what is the fastest way, do you think, to get back to the Great Deku Tree? It's to warp to... I mean, warping is one option. Do I just make a decision and go with it, because... Stopping to think about it, it's taking up time, too. So then it's like you're not choosing between a minute 30 and a minute 45, but you're choosing between 2 minutes and 2.15 because you spent 30 seconds thinking about it. Maybe better to just go, you know? Besides, I'm pretty sure this is the closest way. It's not that far to the Lost Woods. You know, it's also worth noting here, I don't know why I'm bringing this up again, but, um... There's not one loading screen between the top of this at the Force Temple entrance and all the way down here at the beginning. Like, this is all just one area. That's awesome. I don't know, man. Okay, well, let's uh, head out the wrong way here, so get us there quicker. And I believe that this will clean out all of the first three dungeons as a kid. All three kid dungeons will be completely cleared out, 100%ed, as of this. As of me getting these last few Skulltulas here in the Great Deku Tree. There's just two of them, but it's two, you know. Ooh, we could grab some Deku Sticks while we're here. I'm not going to do that on camera because I'm already up to 2 hours and 33 minutes here. We already know the first 45 minutes of this was only maybe 10 minutes of it was salvageable. Because of all the errand running. Yep, no chests to grab here. So there's a Skeltula at the bottom of the hole. And then there's the one behind the bombable wall. 
We just need to get those two, and then we're done. Yeah, I could have gotten this one back when I had the slingshot, but once again, with there being a second one here that I need the boomerang to get, it made more sense to wait till I had the boomerang so I could get them both in one trip. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage, but there are still other sages who need your help. Okay, so... I don't know if I want to keep in mind that I could have gotten this one earlier because that sounded a little important. But we already have all the songs. We have 72 Skeltulas now. Uh, bullet bag, bomb bag. I think that might have been the biggest bomb bag because I saw it when I got the one that holds 30. Yeah, I think that's what that was. So that's not that big a deal then, really. Yeah, biggest bomb bag, whatever. We still have Neighbor's Love and one more bottle to get as well. One more bottle to get as well. See, I'm like slurring my words now. That's how my mouth gets when it gets really dry. It's just like, ooh. Just like, ooh. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Man, that plant was like totally ragged there. His stem was all zigzagged. Looking kind of funny. Mm, there we are. And da -da -da -da. so that's another token, which gives us now a total of 73. You can see by the map, we have all the Skeltalus here. We also have unexplored territory, but that doesn't matter. So you know what? I think we're going to call that a video. Man, oh man. I'm talking too much. This recording's been too long. See you guys later. I love you. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time. Goodbye! Also, have a wonderful day. Whatever's going on, I'm sure it's going to be okay. Just hang in there, okay? Uh, see ya.